Once upon a time, in a small village at the edge of the forest, lived a beautiful maiden named Jorinda, who was in love with a handsome youth named Joringo, and he was in love with her. They were both very happy, for they were about to be married. And then, one day, a strange-looking cat wandered into the village. You haven't finished your harvest duties, Joringo. Where are you going? <laughs> going to see Jorinda again? I've never seen a boy so much in love. Hmm, <laughs> this might be a good day after all. He'll make a fine catch. Jorinda. Oh, come in, Joringo. What are you doing here? What do you think? I came to see you, of course. What about the harvest? That can wait. Here. Jorango, where did you find them? Well, when I was harvesting the wheat, I saw them and thought of you. I just had to bring them over to you right away. I like them very much. They are pretty, aren't they? They're beautiful. Almost as beautiful as you. Marrying you will make me the happiest man alive. <laughs> Why do people have to get lovey-dovey in the middle of the afternoon? That will be the happiest day of my life. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 my, oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, look, Jeringo. I wonder where in the world this cat could have come from. Meow. I don't know. Here. That really must have hurt. Are you all right? What a strange-looking cat. Huh? Strange-looking oh. beast, isn't it? You're going to pay for this, my friend, that I promise you. This is one of my truly favorite places. I love the view from here. If we go further along the trail, we'll find other spots, too. Why don't we have an adventure and go exploring? All right. <laughs> By all means, go exploring. You're in for a big surprise. I've always loved walking in these woods, but I just got the strangest feeling that if we stay here, something terrible is going to happen. There's no reason to worry, Jorinda. <laughs> We're going to be married soon, and everything will be just fine, believe me. You silly young fool. I wouldn't be so certain of that if I were you. Let's go this way. Jorinda, it's too dangerous to go any farther. Why? Because of the old deserted castle that everyone says is haunted by the old nasty witch? Yes, exactly. Don't worry. If the old hag tries anything, I'll protect you. There's no need to be afraid. Jeringo! There's nothing to worry about. That's what you think. Those two are going to be sorry they ever set foot in this forest. Very sorry indeed. Further and further and on and on till both are lost and hope is gone. Noticed? The wind's begun to blow awfully hard. Shouldn't we go well, back? I suppose it is getting late. Yes, and it's getting dark. I'm frightened. Jorinda, stop worrying. It's impossible to get lost if we follow the same path. Yes, you're right. It's getting cold, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> They'll be lost in no time. None of this looks familiar. Yet we're on the same path, so we must be going the right way. Somehow we've gotten lost, but uh -huh. that seems almost impossible. Jorinda, what are we gonna do? Jorinda, I keep telling you not to worry. Trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. Wait a minute, what's that up ahead? Is that a house? Say, perhaps there's someone there that can help us. Let's ask for directions. Uh-huh. Jeringo, I think this is the old witch's mansion. Oh We'd better find our own way back. Yeah. <gasps> oh, 
Kitty, you'll be in danger too if that mean old witch sees you. Meow. <laughs> huh? Hey! Ah. What's happened to you, Jorinda? Uh. woke up. Mother, the young man is awake now. Why don't you come and say hello? Uh, miss, where am I? Why, in our home, of course. Oh, I, uh... We were terribly worried about you, but you seem to be all right now. So, young man, you're awake at last. We've both been terribly curious about what happened to you last night. Last night? I don't know what you mean. How did I get here? You see, when we found you at the edge of the forest, you were unconscious and barely breathing. You found me? That's right. Uh -huh. What's going on? I don't understand any of this. Unless... Get away from me! Oh! Ah! No! Ah! Ah! Oh, how horrible! It wasn't a dream! It wasn't a dream! I'm a witch, you fool. You can't fight the power of my magic. <laughs> Leave me alone! You poor thing. You must have had a truly terrible experience. You should try to get some rest. My daughter Clarissa and I will try to make your stay with us as comfortable as possible till you recover. Thanks, I'm very grateful to you. I'm Hannah, and as you know, Clarissa is my daughter. Pleased to meet you. I hope you're hungry because lunch is almost ready. You must eat if you want to regain your strength. Clarissa, please come and help me set the table. Yes, Mother, I'll be right there. Pardon me, I'll be back. Oh, my Jorinda, what's happened to you? What am I going to do? <laughs> Poor Jorinda was not the only victim of the witch's dark and evil power. You know very well you're supposed to be singing. I command you all to sing at once. Sing, I say. Don't be angry. We'll make them sing. <laughs> Won't we? Now let's see. Jorinda. 
Linda, sing me a pretty melody. And it had better be good. I am but a little bird and you can see me fly. Though I'm just a little Why, bird, don't I love his you of love. fill the oh, sky absolutely with me disgusting. a pointed hour. Remember, love has power, so never fear. Stop, stop saying that song, you hear me? How oh, dare you refuse to obey me? You don't seem to understand. You are my mercy, little one. He's forgotten you. People never remember the ones they love. That's the way they are. They say that they love someone, but as soon as that someone isn't there, they forget all about them. <laughs> you may not believe that, but it's true. I guarantee it. Your love to Ringo will never come for you. You'll be here for the rest of your life. It might take 20 years or so, but you'll see I'm right. I wonder if Jorinda is all right. Jorinda, what's hmm? the matter with you? Is there something wrong? I'm sorry, I was thinking about Jorinda. Don't worry, I'll be all right. I'm going to pick some strawberries. Why don't you come along? I can't. You've cut enough firewood for now, Jeringle. Come along with me. But Clarissa... Come on. That's enough. Just wait till you taste Mama's pie. Strawberry pie is one of my favorites, Clarissa. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. She might make some jam, too. Mm. It's very good on pancakes. Mmm. Mm. Excuse me a second. Hurry back. Take me away from here! <laughs> Somehow I'll save you. Jorinda! <laughs> uh, who am I fooling? I'll never be able to save her. The witch's magic is stronger than I am. <laughs> well... Sometimes things don't turn out the way we plan them, I suppose. Just look at all these strawberries. Mama's going to do wonders with them. That's nice. Well, don't you think we should be getting back home? Joringle was confused by what had happened that day with Clarissa. He felt as if he'd betrayed Jorinda in her time of need. He fell into a troubled sleep, and soon the song Jorinda had sung to him began to fill his mind and heart. Jorinda, where are you? Jorinda! <laughs> Listen to me! You've got to let her go! Now give me back my Jorinda! Forget about her, Jorinda! You'll have to find someone else to love. She belongs to me. <laughs> she sings beautifully, don't you think so, Jorinda? Now find someone else to love or be unhappy for the rest of your life. No, you're wrong! <laughs> it seems that your foolish friend thinks he can take you away from me. If he isn't careful, he'll make me angry. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. <laughs> Wait, come back here. <laughs> Jorinda! Remember, our love has power. <laughs> so never fear should you shed a tear. Remember the red flower. Love's magic can be found. A red flower? What was that? <sighs> I can't stay here. Jorinda's out there somewhere and she's in tremendous danger. No matter what the cost, I'll do anything in my power to save her. This is goodbye, Clarissa. Thank you. Somehow I have to find that flower. Hmm. 
Jorinda. Savor. The witch can't stop me this time. Armed with the magical red flower, Joringle made his way to the witch's castle. Huh? I can't move. Oh no! Please, red flower, break the witch's spell and allow me safe passage. Huh? It worked. I can move. Remove the barrier. <laughs> Sing to me, my pretty ones. Ah. <laughs> Red flower, protect me. Why, you stupid fool! What are you doing in my castle? I've come for Jorinda. Where is she? What? Have you lost your mind? I told you to forget about her. Now get out! I'm not leaving without Jorinda. Do you understand? What is that red flower you have? Is that how you got past my defenders, young man? <laughs> you fool, that won't work against me. Now be gone! Be gone! <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps that flower is more powerful than I thought. But if I use my strongest spell, I can still destroy you. Are you willing to take that risk? Jorinda means more to me than life itself. <laughs> Be gone, witch! <laughs> ha, you really are a fool! Just wait till I change back into a witch! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. The nightmare is over. So never fear, should you shed a tear. Remember the red flower. Dorinda! Dorinda's magic lies in flower powder. Red flower, change your back. moment of my life. Before we leave, I want to free all the other birds, too. Oh, Jeringo, that's a wonderful idea. Let's do it now. May the magic of the red flower set you free. Oh, I'm so happy. We're free again. And so the magic of the red flower proved stronger than the magic of the wicked witch. And once again, the power of goodness had overcome the power of evil. Oh, I love you. I promise you, we'll never be apart again, my love. <laughs> <laughs> 